Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to create a WeChat account without scan a QR code. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we want to do here is you want to go ahead and open up a WeChat. And when we actually try signing up here, you'll see two options, which is sign up via mobile and uh, sign up via Facebook. So whatever type of method that you want to use here, either mobile or Facebook, you'll still be asked to scan a QR code, which is kind of sad. So if you don't have the contact to actually be able to sign in into WeChat. So here, first thing that we want to do is we want to access the help center for WeChat. So go ahead and just click on the login button that you see at the bottom left. And from here, you want to click on more options that you see at the bottom center of your screen. Now here, you want to go to help center. And from here, you want to click on the said send feedback option that you see at the center, bot center top of your screen. Now, once you click on that, it's going to request you to enter the details. So that includes the platform, the region, the, cate the categories as well, and the description. Now, in here, go ahead and select appropriately. So if you're using Android, choose Android. And region, choose the appropriate one. Now, in here, in the description, you have to ensure that you uh, explain it properly that you're currently trying to sign up in WeChat and you don't have necessary details or the necessary QR code for you to be able to create your account for WeChat. Now, in here, you could go either ways in how you want to explain this one and... Uh, yeah, so once you've entered all the details, platform, region, description, all of these are required, you have the option here that says prefer being contacted by. So you want to choose email here. And once you've done that, just click on submit. Now, once you've submitted this, you just need to wait on your email address. Make sure that you actually check it, check it from time to time and see if they actually emailed you back. Now from there, you'll be in contact with WeChat support. Just need You just need to interact with them and provide any details that they might require from you. Like for example, if you have any, any details, if they provide you uh, any things that you could do, go ahead and just uh, interact with them. But yeah, so that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.